Uh, I'm from also, and I joined uh, SoftServe uh, over 10 months ago. Um, and today is my first uh, time to, to present to you uh, a new, not new, uh, uh, something interesting, a tool that can be very helpful, uh, not only for, for beginners, for juniors, but also for mid and, and seniors as well. Um, the tool calls Terrify, but don't be terrified. It's a very nice, easy to use tool. Uh, let me start sharing uh, the presentation. Um, let's go to the presentation, share. Let me know if you can see uh, our tool confirm. Can you see my uh, screen share? Yes. Great. So, uh, like I said, uh, Terrify is a very friendly um, tool uh, that can be uh, used uh, for uh, importing resources uh, from Azure uh, to manage over the Terraform. And for those who uh, are beginners uh, as a DevOps, uh, Terraform is an open source infrastructure as a code uh, solution to manage uh, resources on-prem and on uh, different uh, cloud provider, providers. Um, the typical uh, Terraform workflow, uh, it's very uh, simple. Uh, firstly, you need to write a, a code. Uh, you can write in, in every, uh, in your favorite uh, editor. Um, the only re recommendation is to uh, store it in uh, in uh, some system version control control repository, uh, even if you are doing by yourself uh, and for for individual uh, usage. Um, a plan uh, is a stage of of workflow uh, where uh, basically uh, the uh, application platform is checking. Um, in, in, the right way of, of uh, composed uh, configuration and uh, checking if on the uh, in the file in the code are there any uh, issues problems or typos mm. the next phase is apply during the apply because the terraform apply command will display a plan for confirmation before a processing a proceeding uh, to the change um, it's also a, a secondary or, or next step to confirm the, the changes, the code is um, composed correctly. Um, the command will run, uh, so at this point, the final check uh, before applying and will ask you for confirmation by uh, typing uh, yes. Um, and that is very simple uh, workflow. Um, in case of, uh, Terraform import workflow, it's a little bit different, uh, longer, mainly because uh, the Terraform import command can only import one resource at a time. It cannot simultaneously import uh, an entire collection of resources like one, um, like some other uh, providers. Um, I don't know if there are any, uh, any other uh, providers like, for example, uh, I know that AWS VPC can do it uh, for multiple resources, but yeah, that is not the case. We are looking for uh, Azure tool. Um, so um, extracting, uh, in place of extracting, you, you need to import a resources. Firstly, you need to write a resource block for, uh, for it uh, in your configuration, establish the name by uh, so which it will be known uh, to Terraform, and then import the resource. Uh, so Terraform will uh, Terraform uh, import command uh, can be run on uh, on each individual uh, and only for one resources at a time. So if you have multiple resources that need to be imported, you need to do it uh, for each separately. Mm. So uh, terrify uh, terrify uh, tool. Um, it's let's having a generic overview of uh, the amount of it's having a generic overview of the amount of work required to uh, import each resources at a time. 
uh, various tool met those needs, but this tool is very, uh, very user-friendly, very easy to, to use and fully automated. Um, so today's presentation will focus on this one as it is my favorite one. Um, so uh, introduction, a very short one. The Terraform is a tool to bring your existing uh, uh, Azure resources, infrastructure resources into Terraform uh, configuration file. Um, and additionally, it will import as, uh, as well Terraform state with basically minimum effort. Um, the goals of uh, Terrafy tool. Um, in the, the main uh, goal is to identify resources to be imported uh, within a, a group or a single uh, selected resources. The processes uh, in, are, are, are automated and each resource uh, will be proceeded as a queue for the gener uh, generated list with output as a state file. Um, generated state file will be uh, then uh, used to um, as a source uh, of information for the creation of a terraforming configuration file. Um, additional goal, which is very important, is to uh, have this uh, tool updated with the latest provider, provider um, version. Um, the latest update uh, that is available for us is from July 21st. And basically, this is the uh, one we will use in, the, in today's demo. Um, but Terrify is not the perfect tool. Uh, for example, if you uh, need to, to, to uh, when you should avoid to, to use the Terrify, uh, especially when you are expecting to have 100% reproduced infrastructure. Um, there is no, um, for now, there is no design uh, or plan to uh, have this uh, tool to, to be at 100% uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, compatible with, with every resources in the way that can be used for, um, for, for uh, reproduction, uh, reproduction of, of entire uh, subscription or resources. Um, that is one, one additional uh, miss for, for this tool. It, for now, it should not be used for, for production environment. Uh, what else? Uh, also, uh, you need to take in consideration that this tool will not, uh, will not take any best practice in consideration. So it will be, uh, this tool will export, import the, the uh, config, uh, Terraform config, uh, in very simple uh, way with uh, with no best practice implemented in in, in the file construction. Um, and one last uh, miss for for uh, for this tool is that there will be no uh, importing of modules. So when uh, modules uh, are needed to be um, imported, this tool will not be able to generate such module. Mm. Usage, uh, how we can use the uh, Terrafy. Um, as already mentioned in previous uh, slides, uh, Azure Terrafy can uh, import either a single resources or a resource group, uh, and it uh, includes resources. Um, currently, it does not support imports for entire subscription or even multiple resource groups at once. Uh, for a single uh, resource import, uh, you need to extra, uh, execute uh, Azure Terrify command with optional resource and Azure resource ID. And the command will automatically identify the Terraform resource type and import it into a state file, and then generate the Terraform configuration. For the option to import the entire resource group, uh, you can run the Azure uh, Terrafy command with the option of uh, resource groups and resource group name. Um, for resources group, you can additionally go with options, optional uh, batch and, interac and interactive mode. 
in the interactive mode, Azure uh, Terrify uh, tool uh, lists all the resources uh, reside in the specific resource group. For each resources, a user is expected to input the Terraform resource addresses uh, in uh, four uh, of the resources type and resource name. Uh, for batch mode, instead of in uh, interactive specific uh, uh, specifying the, the mapping for Azure resources ID, uh, there form um, into the Terraform um, user uh, are expected to provide that mapping via the resource mapping file. Uh, so uh, it is very manual uh, task. You need to specify each resources manually in very long or short list uh, it can be very helpful when you can when you need to to very uh, to generate a very custom uh, list of of resources selected list, which can be also edited and managed with uh, interactive mode uh, by default uh, azure terrify is uh, use a local backend uh, to store the state file but there are uh, a, a, there is an option to, to use a remote backend. In case of importing into the uh, um, existing local state, an option append can be used. So, uh, so if we already did some work for uh, for for existing um, importing states for for uh, for Terraform resources, we can append uh, additional changes to it. Um, the only uh, thing that will be changed is the Terraform uh, file that will change the suffix uh, for additional uh, 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 with additional name like Azure Terrify. Mm, the state will remain the state file will remain the same and will be updated. Um, limitation. Mm. There are additional limitations to uh, within this tool. Um, currently, the tool uh, only works on uh, assumption that there is one-to-one -one, uh, mapping between Azure resources and the Terraform resources. For uh, end to end model mapping properly, uh, pro property like uh, Terraform resources, Azure, uh, sorry, Azure Terrify tool will just um, ignore them. When generating uh, the Terraform configuration, uh, not all properties or resource uh, resources are expected you know, for the uh, different resources. Uh, one, what what I mean in uh, in example, uh, one resources uh, is that uh, reason is that uh, there are flexible cross properties uh, con uh, constraints in def um, defined in the Azure RM uh, Terraform provider. And for example, uh, this can be the case when uh, we have an Azure subnet that is a property of, of Azure Virtual Network. In this case, uh, that can uh, there is a limitation for, for usage. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I missed the very important thing, and it is how uh, it is working, the general view of uh, how Terrify is working. So within running Azure Terrify, uh, it identified the Terraform uh, resources type on its Azure mm. uh, resource ID. Uh, then it runs Terraform import processes in the background. To import each resources, next it runs a Terraform add to generate for each imported resources uh, uh, from the Terraform template as the Terraform template. Uh, so uh, that was very quick uh, run through the presentation, and I believe that there will be uh, at least few questions. And for now, before going to the demo, let's start with very quick questions and answers uh, from from you guys, if there are any questions, of course. What is missing then? Uh, can Kubert, mm, can you can you write the full sentence of your question? Hi, it was uh, at the time. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay, so the question was placed uh, when you were showing slide uh, about limitations. So 
That's yep. uh, no, that one, previous one, almost on the previous very one. beginning. Uh, yes, that one. Okay. Uh, and the first point, 100% reproducible infrastructure. So what is missing from that one? Uh, those can be various things like the Terrafy uh, version right now is still in uh, 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 development and, and as we know, Azure is not waiting for anyone else. It's going uh, very fast through uh, the uh, implementation of new solutions. And most of those uh, missing parts are related to the Terraform provider um, Mm -mm, mm -mm, version. So if the uh, if your Terraform uh, version is not supported, uh, is not supporting for 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 different uh, uh, resources types, uh, Terra Terrafy will miss those uh, configurations. So it's very linked dependent on the uh, Terraform uh, and provider version used in 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 your environment and your from your system. Okay, so it's uh, doing everything that can be done with Terraform, in fact. Right. And we know that right. Terraform right. is some, missing something from Azure. Okay, that's it. Exactly. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, I have one. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Hi, Adrian. Uh, yes, okay, can. cool. Uh, so uh, if I get it right, you only use Terrafy. Um, when you start creating your uh, Terraform code, and then uh, once you run it, and you uh, find some resources that it hasn't um, uh, translated to Terraform, you can do that. Uh, well, presumably you can do that later when they are implemented, and uh, you are good. You won't need to use this tool anymore, right? You are just using Terraform after that. Yes, and then only in this case, uh, we can imagine a situation where uh, a new position, you are new DevOps in new company or our client uh, doesn't uh, have any Terraform uh, management for, for any resources uh, set up, configured. So at this point, having the whole environment in Azure uh, and basically importing those, uh, those, those resources into the uh, configuration file can be very time consuming. Uh, even if this tool, like I said, will import those uh, Terraform config files in very simple um, way, uh, like we cannot expect to have a best practice inside, it is a very good base from which you can start and editing those uh, Terraform uh, configuration and, and match the, the state of, of existing environment. So uh, it is one of example, but second one, it can be like you said, you have already uh, some code, some environment, and you are, would like to uh, confirm the changes or differences. So yeah, that can be used also, also for this case. Okay, cool, thank you. No problem. Some more questions? Okay, so uh, going very short again and fast through the uh, Terraform workflow, uh, starting from running the command uh, Azure Terrify uh, and typing the resource or resource group name, uh, it will identify existing resources uh, in Azure uh, inside the, the uh, resource group, uh, for example, and uh, um, get the information from it uh, by uh, building the state file, uh, file um, for the Terraform. From the state file, uh, the whole configuration will be taken. Um, so it will be converted to, to Terraform configuration uh, file. Uh, let's go uh, and start with the most important and most excited, excited uh, part of this presentation demo. Mm. Let me switch uh, to another window. Can you confirm you can see my uh, screen? It should be uh, uh, 
a command line uh, window. Uh, yes, I do. Yes, yes, yes. you can. That, okay, great, awesome. Uh, so, uh, like I mentioned, um, the Terraform uh, Terrafy is using uh, Terraform as a backend uh, to to uh, get the informations and generate uh, and convert everything to Terraform code. Um, so. Um, first requ uh, requirement is to install uh, all requirements and also uh, Terraform or your, on your machine or your server uh, that will, uh, from which you will run the uh, Terrafy uh, tool. Mm -hmm. And again, I uh, already mentioned it, um, the Azure Terrafy uh, command requires uh, only a few things. First one uh, uh, is the uh, option or the uh, task you we would like to 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 do. If it will be for uh, single resources, we need to type only resource um, and then ID of the resources, or we can uh, single resource. I mean, uh, because mm, with uh, Azure Terrify you can uh, import. Uh, single resource with this command and then subscription and resource ID. Let's try it as an example. This one is for Azure VM01. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, let me hide this one. Azure Terrify. Um, what I miss? Oh, just resource. Let's see differently. Maybe I did some typo. Help. What we can resource. We can use our full name, resource, and then we should put the ID of the resource that we would like to import. Uh, is, oh, I didn't read properly the uh, error message. Uh, the folder is not empty. And this is because there are some files uh, from previous test, my test, and it's not still empty. Uh, apologize uh, for it. I am a little bit nervous. It's my first time for so huge audience. Uh, and let's repeat the command. How easy it is, like only with a simple command and pointing the resource and the ID of the resource, uh, basically it will generate for us a state file, a, a, a Terraform config file, um, and everything that we need to uh, check uh, if the, uh, uh, Everything we need to, to, to import, export the current state into the file, uh, Terraform config file. Uh, and basically, uh, that is how the, uh, the single resource import is working. But this can be also achieved with a few different commands uh, very easily. Um, and even if this way it's even easier and shorter way, uh, method, uh, but in case if we would like to export, uh, import the state, sorry, to, to for for a resource group, that will be very much longer process. And for it, um, we have uh, the tool has also a very user friendly and simple way to to do it. You need just to type a few things. Uh, firstly, um, we need to change the, the option from resource to resource group. 
and type the name of uh, the resource group. Uh, so, but again, that oh, that is a very good example. Of what else uh, Azure Terrify uh, can do? We in the interactive mode, we can decide if we would like to append the uh, the differences into the state uh, existing state, or we would like to uh, create a fresh new one. Um, so uh, when we all uh, decide to uh, append, uh, firstly, the Azure Terra file will uh, list all the resources inside the resource group. This is how it is looking. And few things uh, here are important to, to mention. Firstly, uh, those, uh, th this list is generated automatically and like in case if you would like to do it manually, you need to write all those informations manually uh, within the uh, the name and, and resources type. Uh, like in this case, the Azure storage account is res seven. It can be easily edited also from, uh, from here if needed. Like for example, we can type, uh, Test name. So this resource type will will have different uh, name. Uh, so it can be edited from here. And there are uh, here, here we have a, a, a good example of of the situation when something will not be imported because it is already included in in previous uh, resource import. So basically. Uh, blob service uh, uh, resource will uh, is part of of storage account. Uh, so during the import of of this resource, it will include informations about all of this. So for for uh, so the the Terra file will skip those uh, those resources uh, and will not import them. Uh, okay, so let's start the import process. And basically, from from importing, firstly, it will generate the state file of the resources. Um, this is taking a little bit longer than 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 the last step because you need to take all the information and generate the state uh, file. But when it will end, uh, the next step, the final step, creation of of uh, Terraform config file, will be very fast. A quick question while we're importing. Can I? Yep. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, what uh, authorization and aut authentication uh, does this uh, tool utilize? It's from uh, AZ CLI or it's. Correct. The... Yeah. Okay. It's the Thank same you. like for, for Terraform. So, uh, same uh, method of authentication. If you are uh, using Terraform, uh, Basically, uh, you can you can authenticate the the session with Azure login, and the same uh, session will be used by the uh, Azure Terrify. Excellent, thank you. Uh, so, uh, like I mentioned uh, mentioned before, um, Azure Terrify with append uh, modes uh, will uh, add additional. Uh, suffix to, to the name of the file. And this is a great example. Main Azure Terra file, Terraform file, config file is, is generated on like two of them. Uh, the main one and the additional one, the extension. Um, for uh, the extension, we have the second run of Azure uh, in Terra file, uh, resource group import. And here we have everything that has been the differences between the the uh, the previous one uh, that we run for the for a single resource and the uh, the one that we run with with uh, option for resource group. Mm. And basically. Uh, 
that is nearly all. And as a final confirmation that the whole uh, process succeed and there are no changes. Uh, we didn't mess with uh, any configuration file. Um, it's a good to check uh, if the Terraform uh, plan, so the state, uh, uh, is equal to the state on, uh, of the resources in Azure. Um, hopefully, everything will go fine and, and succeed. So yeah, our infrastructure uh, uh, configuration is, is, uh, is fine, and no changes are needed. Um, any questions? Guess uh, I, I do have one. Uh, could you scroll okay. up a bit? Um, so it seems that it doesn't uh, use references between uh, different resources, for example, um, here in main.tf for network mm -hmm. interface IDs. Uh, it could have referenced this network interface, uh, right? But it just hard coded it. Is it the way right. it works? Yeah. Mm, no, uh, like I uh, mentioned, it will uh, import the configuration in very simple way. Um, there is, uh, it's 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 like uh, for for a general review. It's not for very. Um, it will not use like uh, best practice and so on. So mm -hmm. in, in this case, referential is not supported. Okay, I see. Thank you. Uh, Yuri raised his hand. Yuri, feel free to ask. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm a bit late joiner. Uh, I was stuck on the other meeting, but overall, uh, can you tell me why you're using the proprietary tool from the Azure instead of using the, for example, Terraformer, which does exactly the same, uh, but it's not generating the uh, configuration for your uh, backend storage for the Terraform. And that is the, uh, at the same uh, time, it's a great question. And there is an option, of course, you can decide which tool. In, uh, in this uh, session, I decided to, to present this one. Like it will do everything uh, we need from, from uh, to have to achieve the, the good start point for, for Terraform uh, configuration file, as this was the goal, to uh, get the Terraform configuration uh, file from existing uh, environment. Uh, where we don't have any states uh, or any configuration file uh, present. Uh, we can imagine a situation when a company just started to, to um, implement infrastructure as a code, uh, solutions configuration of, as a code, and that is a tool that can be very useful for, for the beginners uh, to start working with and importing existing environment into uh, the config file. Uh, like I mentioned, there are many, uh, many uh, uh, mm, things that still need to be developed and, and it's still in the phase of development. It's not production ready, uh, but it's very uh, nice tool, very easy tool to use in case if you are starting working or you need to have a, a, a draft of configuration of existing uh, environment that doesn't have uh, the, the uh, configuration uh, uh, defined yet. That's fair enough. Uh, is it working only for Azure or it's also working for the other clouds? Uh, this one is working only for Azure. Um, and I didn't hear it uh, from, from any uh, sources if there are any plans to implement same for for gcp or aws uh, this tool is compatible only for with with azure provider yeah okay thanks but overall i okay. would do really recommend you to check terraform error <laughs> yeah 
covers exactly. much more. Exactly, but at the same time, I believe that this tool uh, is much easier to use for the beginners. There are more advanced tools like you mentioned, it, and and in, at some point, uh, it's worth to to uh, check different tools uh, and work with them. But uh, yeah, this one is very very uh, easy to to use. Uh, even if somebody doesn't have very good understanding of Terraform, can easily uh, import the, the current uh, environment into the uh, Terraform config file and work from, from, uh, from, um, from this point with, with uh, configuration as a code. Uh, but if somebody is looking for more advanced tools, uh, there are uh, other uh that can be uh that has similar functionality or even like uh, you already mentioned it, uh even more uh more powerful tools and those tools are listed on the current slide if you are interested in uh any of them uh like i said in, in azure uh, terrify it's the easiest one i know uh maybe there is a different new tool uh that can do much more and as simple as this one. Um, but those uh, tools are that are listed, in my opinion, um, are a little bit more difficult than this one. So for more advanced users, folks, uh, my recommendation is to check each of them if they will fit the requirements uh, and needs. Uh, but for those that are trying to start with Terraform or doesn't have enough time to learn for more tools, more advanced tools, uh, Terrify will be a very uh, good tool to start with, with it. And that's all. Thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can reach me uh, on, on uh, Teams or I will be still available on this chat for a while, at least for additional 30 minutes. Uh, so uh, guys, uh, folks, everyone, uh, please reach me for any type of questions related to, to, to Terraform, uh, Terrafy, or any other tool that you think it will be worth to, to uh discuss in, in in the future future so thank you again and have a wonderful day severance thank you so much for this good performance you made a really good job and